Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your mid-July July general tarot reading. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this message finds you well. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a timeless reading as well. Please pay more attention to the titles than anything else. Even though this is a message that's coming in for mid-July, that doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. And also, uh, keep in mind that this could, uh, this could we could be talking to a cross-watcher, yeah? So the roles might be able to be reversed. If that fits in your life, then fit it. If not, don't try and fit things into place that don't belong there naturally, okay? All right, Libra, let's get into this here. I have your pre-shuffle. Let's start with the Three of Pentacles. So we have the Three of Pentacles, okay, which um, self-mastery work, I heard self-mastery work is well underway for you, okay? You recently reached a higher level of awareness. You have the High Priestess and you have the Sun here, all right? And that's influencing you to do some real work on yourself, Three of Pentacles. And that's influencing great change in your life. Overall energy, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, with all of this, you also have the Ace of Cups. And what I'm getting for you, Libra, is that, <coughs> excuse me, this higher level of awareness that you've come to, okay, uh, is a beautiful thing. But it's this higher level of, of awareness that's allowing you to pull in more divine and unconditional love for yourself, which is only further influencing you or fortifying or strengthening you towards doing this self-mastery work or building whatever it is new that you're building right now. And that very well could be a new business opportunity or restructuring a current business that you already have or something like that. Now... You have one more card here that has fallen face down. It is the Seven of Cups. <sighs> to be honest with you, Libra, I'm going to take it because it came out with everything and I should take it. But the reason why I feel like I maybe I don't want to take it is because it feels like whatever confusion or whatever illusions are around you that could potentially be getting in the way, they're so trivial that I almost don't even want to talk about them. What I'm hearing in relation to this Libra is just stand your ground. That's it. Just stand your ground and don't allow any sort of confusion or differing of opinion or other people's feelings. I heard that very clearly. Do not allow other people's feelings to disrupt what it is you're working towards right now. Because other people's feelings are not what's invested in this situation or those people with these feelings that could potentially get in the way are not people that are investing in what it is you are investing in right now. So quite frankly, for some of you here, the, the message is quite clear. They have no say in it. They're not doing the work. They're not laying down the foundation. They're not doing the groundwork that you are doing right now. They're not even remotely or closely involved. So why should they have an opinion or why should their feelings or why should and, and why should any of that matter? And I'm not saying to be selfish. I'm not saying to be cold hearted. I'm not saying to disregard the feelings of others. But that is a situation that you get into when they are involved. But whatever it is you're doing here, they're not involved. So again, why should their feelings or why should their opinion sway you, get in the way, knock you off your track, knock you off course. You get what I'm saying, Libra? All right, excellent. Let's reset for my Libras here, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's reset. Woo! Yeah, you have the Page of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles that has just come out. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pay attention to that knight of swords energy but for some of you you might have to get a little bit aggressive you might have to really lay down the law or cut the cords <clears throat> but what this is saying here is you're activated towards something knight of wands you need to stand in your sovereignty because ultimately in the long run this is gonna pay off because you're starting something new you're moving in a new direction you're building something from the ground up whatever i don't know but you gotta just keep going all right libra okay
Cool. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, Libra, and then we'll see what else we have for you in this message. Yeah? One. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, make sure you guys to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a, a better, more complete view. This is two of what could be going on for you in this moment. Also, if you're looking for love messages specifically, check your Venus sign or the Venus sign of your potential mate, mate or your current partner. Yeah? This is three. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is four. And this is five. Oh, let's give that one more shuffle. Let's give that one more try, Libra. This is five. There we go. All right, let's cut the deck. All oh, right. Overall energy for you, Libra. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. What did I tell you, man? You've got to keep like stick. Well, first of all, Libra, this is you. All right. The Queen of Swords energy represents Libra. Well, the Queen of Swords represents Libra, right? Because the Queens are the cardinal signs. Libra, you are the cardinal sign of the air, uh, air element. You're just going to have to be very clear. In some cases, maybe even cutthroat. I did just hear that. Clear and cutthroat. In terms of the opinions of others, that's what I'm hearing. When it comes to the involvement of others or something like that, you just have to be straightforward, laying down the law. It's not like this is the king of swords energy where he's like, all right, I'll hear you out. What's your argument or what's the evidence here? Or what do you have to present to the court? No. The Queen of Swords has no time for that. The decision has been made or the uh, the boundaries are put in place or the, the system or the situation has been defined already. It's not up for debate, all right? So there's a level of enforcement that's coming through here with this Queen of Swords. Underneath the Queen of Swords, you do <coughs> have the Four of Cups. Underneath the Four of Cups is the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pent underneath the Eight of Pentacles is the Ten of Cups. All right, Libra. So you know, I'm getting a very distinct feeling with this, Libra, of the fact that there could be some people around you that straight up just aren't on your vibe, and that's not a bad thing. There's nothing better or worse here. In the grand scheme of things, there is really, there, in reality, like, unpopular opinion alert. Many people don't agree with me on this, but, like, I have my own perspective, so there's that. Queen of Swords, there's that. But this perspective is, in the grand scheme of things, there's really no such thing uh, as right or wrong or what's best and what's not best. And that's just because everybody's different. And everybody has their different lessons. Everybody has their different circumstances. Like, there ain't no cookie cutter, one size fits all type of shit in this existence, period. No matter what society wants to tell you, okay? No matter what society wants to tell you to get you to fall in line, okay? All right, cool. Let's just leave it there. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. There are some people around you that straight up just don't line up with your vibe. Four of Cups. They're here in this apathetic Four of Cups, blah, 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 woe is me, whatever this is. And they're just trying to pull you down with them. Not because they're bad people but because of the simple fact that misery loves company. And you're not about that because you're here in this eight of pentacles energy, diligently working towards what is going to bring you ultimate happiness and justice in your life. Here you are again, Libra. And the pathway is wide open and clear. Do not let this bullshit of the three of cups, this hive mind mentality or whatnot, whatever, get in your way, okay? The opinions of others, the feelings of others, don't do it, honey. It ain't, it ain't worth it. And it damn sure ain't cute. You know what is cute? Woo! Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The queen was like, yo, you ain't not, you are not about to call me cute, bitch. I know you're not about to call me cute. Well, you are. <laughs> you know what's cute, Libra? Staying here. Defining your terms, defining your boundaries, and keeping your nose to the grind and doing the damn thing. Doing the work that you know is going to pay off for you in the end. And effectively... Leaving these, this energy or these people in the dust. 
not intentionally, not because you think you're better than them, not because you think you got it like that, but because you're doing the work to get yourself there, right? Cool. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. The Empress, beautiful. I'm feeling, I'm picking up on fertility and birth here for you. So maybe some of you are working on building a family and there are some specific, like maybe you're going through a, a fertility regimen, okay? Uh, or you're just, you have some sort of pathway defined for you, a, 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 a pathway forward defined for you. And you gotta walk that path. And you're not about to let somebody else and their apathy or their bullshit or just the sheer fact that they don't wanna come along with you. They don't wanna follow suit. They don't wanna pursue their things. They don't wanna like commit to pursue, pursuing something or bettering their lives or whatever. They wanna stay here apathetic, bored, rolling around in the mud, doing muck, doing a, not doing nothing but wasting their existence, I guess you could say. I mean, they're not really ultimately because they're going through their own process, but you get what I'm saying, right? If that's the case, then you're just going to have to do whatever it is, whatever it is that you need to do to get this to full term. Okay. The Empress is coupled with Shit, man, what did I say? The chariot. This is you being in alignment and moving forward, moving towards what it is that you want, that goal, that dream job, that family, that whatever. <clears throat> the, the birth and fertility that I'm picking up on from the empress doesn't necessarily have to be the birth of a child. This could be the birth of a new reality, okay? But you are definitely in alignment with it. And what I'm hearing, Libra, is you are well on your way there, all right? Don't stop now, keep up the pace and damn sure keep up the good work, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, is the seven of swords. There are people trying to get in your way, trying to steal your happiness, trying to steal your magic because they want it from themselves. And it's not because they're bad people, but straight up and down, they don't wanna do the work to get it. And some of these people would rather keep you in that low vibe so they don't feel so bad about themselves. It's not worth it, Libra. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Three of Swords. There are people around you trying to get away with things because they're heartbroken. I get that. And I'm sure you get that. And that's probably why you want to stick around and probably why you want to help them. But Libra, baby... You can't change them for them. You can't heal them for them. You can't change their, rela their reality for them. They've got to do it themselves. Shit, just like you have, right? I mean, I, I feel like it's pretty safe to say that if you are really working towards building something, you pulled yourself out of the depths of something else, right? At this point, on this channel, with this community that we have, fuck yeah, it's safe to say that. Okay. Your challenge, Libra, is the fool. Stepping on out there, taking your leap of faith, making that change, going for it with gusto, baby. All right? The fool is coupled with the queen of wands. You better be in that damn alignment, bitch. I know you better stay in that goddamn alignment. But that's your challenge here. Not allowing anything to knock you out of that alignment because you are well on your way. What I want you to do, Libra, in the moments where you really start to lose faith or you start to sink into despair, remember why you chose to go in this direction. Remember why you are in this alignment right now. Keep your eyes closely focused on that. That's going to allow you the confidence to continue to move forward in this leap of faith, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome, Libra. The lovers. Ah. <coughs> and, the, and the message here, Libra, is what serves your highest good? Oh, shoot. Did I... Did I strike a chord or something? Cause somebody just got hit with something, some sort of conviction. 
Did me asking that question to you, Libra, remind you of why you're in this energetic state right now? Why you're in this alignment? Let me ask it again. What serves your highest good, Libra? Not that of others, but yours. The lovers is coupled with. The emperor. You've got, you've got, yo, yo, check it out, Libra. You have got an official emperor, empress, lovers sandwich. In the first half of your reading, the very first card out, is the Empress. In the very closing of your reading, the last card out is the counterpart of the Emperor. And he is saying to you, what serves your highest good? Keep doing that. Be in alignment with that. Don't let anybody stop you from doing that. Stand your ground, keep your focus, and stay the master of your domain. You got this, Libra. You fucking got this. You understand me? And don't you ever, ever allow yourself to believe otherwise. I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>